Welcome to our National Day of Prayer. The unity that we show with the love of Jesus and in the movement of the Holy Spirit stands as an obvious marker of God's presence in the world around us. On this National Day of Prayer, all Lord on behalf of the nation and our First Timothy two verses one through two calls us to do just that as part of our ministry of prayer. This is our joy. This is our honor to serve our neighbors and our country in this way in the glory of God. For 2024, I will share with you the national prayer. Jesus, we profess our faith in you. You are the light of the world. And in you, there is no darkness. For you are our lamp, O Lord, and our God who lights our darkness. Forgive us for fearing and focusing on the darkness around us. Instead of being filled with faith and sharing the city on the hill that they have called us to be. Forgive us for the times when we have been the absence of light, allowing darkness to dwell in America. Lead us forward to dispel the darkness and bring light throughout the church. Bring light throughout the family. Bring light throughout the business. Bring light throughout the government. Bring light throughout the arts and entertainment. And bring light throughout the media. We have saved by grace through faith. Released from the darkness that once held us captive. And now we are free to walk in the newness of life in you. Light dispels darkness and exposes what is hidden and wicked. So we commit to rise and shine. For by you, Lord, we can take courage, run against the enemy. And by our God, we can fight a good fight and keep the faith as a living lampstand in our communities and country. We fear no evil, for you are with us. Lord, your way is perfect. You lead us on paths of righteousness for your namesake. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Your word is truth, instructing and inspiring us to live in the abundant life you gave us. You saved us from the death. That is, you went to the cross for us to save us so that we can be forgiven for our sins. Fill us with truth as we read, as we study, and as we live your word. God, you are a shield for all of those who take refuge in you. As we abide in you and your word abides in us, we take up our shield of faith and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God, and we run boldly into the darkness to Lift up the word and light up the world. Amen. Amen. If it's anybody that would like to have a prayer sent in, please do so. They will put it uh, on the chat for you, and they will make sure that your names uh, are not recorded. So if you do and you would like to do that, they will place it around the altar. We appreciate you. Thank you. This is a time that we can all participate in a medley of songs. And in the tradition of African Americans, two of them are called in response. And the late, great 
Mahalia Jackson sang this song when I was a little girl, and I know many of you remember it. He got the whole world in his hands. I will pray. And I know the slaves used to sing this a lot, but we have a lot to pull back from, and I hope you will just join in. Another call and response. and inspirationally. Sweet
as our next prayer warrior come just humming. pray for our leaders. Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessing of living in this nation. Today, we pray for our leaders across this land, from the White House to our state and county officials. We ask for your wisdom and will to guide them in all they do. Strengthen each leader with resolve to do what is best for their country. Give each leader your wisdom discernment, and guidance as they lead. And from Second Chronicles, the seventh chapter, the 14th verse, then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore their land. Amen. Prayer for wisdom. Father God, give the leaders of this nation your wisdom and discernment. I pray that you will, they will seek wisdom, justice, mercy, and truth. I ask that you surround our leaders with godly influences. In Jesus' name, amen. If you need wisdom, ask our generous Father and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. From James, the first chapter, the fifth verse. Amen. Prayer for those who are ill. Jesus, you have said that by your stripes we are healed. I thank you for the victory won for us at the cross. You died and rose again, not just for our salvation, but for us to be set free and healed from addiction and illness. I pray for those who are sick in the body across this nation, asking that you heal them. Please provide them the medical care they need. I pray not just for their physical well-being, but for their spiritual well-being, so that they may live life abundantly. In Jesus' name, amen. And from Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, 5th verse. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our inequities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. A prayer for first responders. God, I thank you for first responders across this nation. Be with them as they put themselves in harm's way to keep us safe. Please give them your wisdom and discernment to know how to respond amid challenging situations. Send your angels to watch over and protect them. May they return safely to their families at the end of their shifts. Please guard their heart and mind against the stress and anxiety of their job that the job presents them each day. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. The authorities are God's servants, sent for your good. So you must submit to them, not only to avoid punishment, but also to keep a clear conscience. Romans 13, 4 and 5.
prayer for those in the medical field. God, I pray for those of us in the medical field who are caring for the sick of this nation. Restore our strength and peace when we are weary. May we turn to you as our source of hope in such overwhelming times. Proverbs 11 and 25 says that those who refresh others will themselves be restored. So we pray blessings upon all caregivers. We also pray for their health, that they may not get sick. Father, protect us all against illness as we nurse others back to health. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Prayer for our families. Heavenly Father, I pray for the families across this nation, asking that you watch over and protect them. Keep them safe from the attack of the enemy. May they see the importance of turning to you in good times and in bad. May your love fill their hearts for each other. God, I ask that there would be peace in our homes and not strife. My Scripture comes from 1 Peter 4, chapter 8, verse. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sins. Amen. 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 Lord, pray for those like the jobless. Lord, you are the God who provides help those who are unemployed in this nation to trust in you as they look for new work. Please also lead them to the right job. Please help them to be patient in the waiting. I trust you will close the doors that need to be closed and open the doors that need to be opened. Let this uncertainty be a chance to strengthen their faith in you. Let this job loss be the opportunity for you to rearrange their life for the better. Amen. And this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs for his glorious riches, which have been given to us in Jesus Christ, Philippines 419. Prepare ourselves for a prayer for those in the military. God, I pray for all those serving in our armed forces, whether at home or abroad. Give them favor and victory to accomplish what they have been assigned to do. I ask that you give them safe traveling mercies, that you would watch over them, and keep them safe. Lord, please guard their hearts and minds against the effects of war. Bring healing where healing is needed. Bring them back safely, I pray. Amen. Amen. The reading is from Psalms, Psalms 108, verse 12 to 13. Oh, please help us against our enemies. For all human help is useless. With God's help, we will do mighty things. For all he will trample down our foes. In God's name, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we have gathered here this evening, let us be glad that we serve a God who can hear all of our prayers at once. And he knows exactly what we need as we pray. In fact, he knows our thoughts are far off, even before the words form on our lips. So this evening, my brothers and sisters, let us just go to the throne of grace as God would lead us at this time. We thank you for loving us so much that you make it possible that we can come boldly before your throne seeking help in our time of need. So God, we gather this evening to pray 
not only for ourselves, but we gather to pray for one another. We gather to pray for our community. We gather to pray for our nation. We gather to pray for our world. Heavenly Father, you know what we need this evening. God, we ask you where there is division. God, we ask you to create unity. God, where there is strife. God, we ask you to bring healing. God, right now in the name of Jesus, where we might have gone astray, God, we ask you to put us back on the right path so that we might be the men. We might be the women. We might be the boys. We might be the girls. We might be the church, the people that you are calling us to be. God, as you look down on us this evening, God, don't leave us as you find us. God, don't leave us weary. God, don't leave us wounded. God, don't leave us angry. God, don't leave us bitter. Don't leave us worried. Don't leave us sad. But today, dear Lord, we ask you now to just touch us from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. God, touch us from the inside out. God, we ask you to heal us with all of our soul's diseases. God, we ask you right now to just turn our lives around. God, we ask you tonight to lift up our heads and wipe every tear away from our eyes. God, we ask you to comfort us. God, we ask you to strengthen us. God, we ask you to correct us, remold us reshape us in your image to be the people that you are calling us to be. Heavenly Father, we ask you to allow our light to shine and bright for you so others may see your reflection in us and so others may come to know you because we are walking as you are calling us to walk and living as you are calling us to live. Dear God, we ask you now to just be with our friends, be with our family members, be with our loved ones and our acquaintances, even our enemies who are going through sickness and infirmity. God, touch their bodies. God, come against every form of sickness. Come against cancer. God, come against diabetes. God, come against strokes. Come against high blood pressure. God, come against every ache and against every pain. God, in the name of Jesus, God, we ask you right now to just move and have your being. God, turn the things around so that we know that we know that it was you oh God who turned our lives around that we know that it was you who made a way out of no way that it was you who strengthened us that it was you we know who brought us through and then dear Lord we ask you to be with each and every family right now that's going through bereavement God be with those near and far Heavenly Father, we ask you to to be with the families that lost loved ones in Charlotte as a result of the shooting, oh God. God, be with those officers' families. And God, not only them, God, be with the families of the ones who actually did the killing, God, because their hearts are breaking too. Heavenly Father, we ask you to be with all people right now, God who are going through, lift up their heads and wipe every tear away from their eyes. God, let them know that you are the friend who sticks closer than a brother. Let them know, oh God, that you're able to mend every broken heart. Dear God, we ask you to also be with the families of those who are going through as a result of war. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, be with those in Palestine and Gaza, God. Be with those in Israel, God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you to touch the hearts of Hamas. God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to touch the hearts of Israel. God, we ask you to touch the hearts of Russia and the Ukraine. God, in the name of Jesus, touch the hearts of those fanning the flames of war in Taiwan. Heavenly Father, we ask you now to help us to be your peace bearers oh god so that we can make the difference that we want to see in this world oh god right now in the name of jesus we ask you to just have your way god we know that you're not through we know that you're still able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think so god we ask you now to put the devil under your feet Hallelujah. And then God, we ask you to give us strength to to step on his head, oh God, so that we may walk in victory to be the people that you're calling us to be, to do the things that you are calling us to do. God, we have faith to believe that you're going to do these things for us. We don't know how, we don't know when, we don't know where, but God, because we have faith, we're not going to wait till we see what you do to praise you. 
But God, we're going to go ahead and praise you now for the victory that's on the way. We're going to praise you now for the turnaround that's on the way. We're going to praise you now for the strength that's on the way. We're going to praise you now for the joy that's on the way. We're going to praise you now in the name of the Father. We're going to praise you now in the name of the Son. We're going to praise you now in the name of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 What is done for others, he'll do for you, and you, else is so and you, dead. and you, with arms wide open, he'll pardon you, it is no what my God can do. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be. and my sisters, we are in times where prayer is needed more than has ever been needed before. I thank God for what he has done this evening here. But this is only the beginning of what God is going to do in us and through us as we continue to unite with one another in prayer. Pray for one another with all manners of prayers. Short prayers, long prayers, loud prayers, soft prayers. Wherever you and I may go, pray. Pray because prayer changes things. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Remember the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. 
My brothers and sisters, let us continue to keep our hands in God's hands and let us continue to pray to him and listen to his response as we pray. Because again, God is not through with us. Leave it all in his hands and then walk by faith, knowing that when he gets ready, he's going to work things out. So since you know who you're working with, all you got to do is look back at your track record. Look at how many times he's brought us through before. He's not through bringing us through now. So continue to keep your trust in the one who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. That's all I got to say. Keep your trust in the Lord. I would, I would like everybody to face the pastor, please. You can lift up hands. You can press your hands together. I'm quite sure it doesn't matter to the Lord because he knows each and every one of our hearts. My Heavenly Father, can I touch you, Pastor? Yes. My Heavenly Father, we come to you and we are asking you to bless the pastor for this job, this career that you have given him is a career that is at work at all times. No matter where he is, no matter where his family is. My Heavenly Father, wherever his family is, we ask you to surround them. Yes, surround them with the Holy Spirit yes, and with each step they take, yes, with each word they say, yes, with each action they make. Yes, My Heavenly Father, let them put you first. Yes, if they're on for sure, let them pause. Yes, let them hear the word of the Holy Spirit. Yes, God. My Heavenly Father, surround Pastor Ingram yes, God. with his leaders, yes, God. with his shepherds. Yes, God. Now, my Heavenly Father, you said if we were called by your name yes. and you hear we will hear your voice, and you will know our voice, and we will know your voice. Yes, God. Now, my Heavenly Father, we know we get a little hasty sometimes, mm -hmm. and we step too quickly sometimes. Yes, we think too quickly sometimes. Yes, God. But my Heavenly Father, we know that it's only one God. Yes, God. You have created yes, each God. And every one of us. Yes, God. From the crowns of our head. Yes, God. To the soles of our feet. Yes, God. We belong to you. Yes, God. It does not matter. Yes, God. What color hair I have. Yes. What color skin I have. Yes. What color my eyes. Yes. What language I speak. Yes, God. What beautiful clothing yes. I wear. Yes. It doesn't matter whether I live in a mansion. Yes. And it doesn't matter whether I live in a shack. Yes, God. But my Heavenly Father, Hallelujah. we know yes, that God. everything that we have, yes, God. it comes from you. Yes, God. And it also belongs to you. Yes, God. For this is all only yes. borrowed. Yes. I'm going to say that again. Whatever we have yes, is God. borrowed. Yes, God. It does not belong to us. Yes, God. It's borrowed yes. and it's for a short period of time. Yes, God. So let us use these blessings yes, that you have bestowed upon us yes, for God. your good. Yes, God. Let us not leave the pastor. Yes. We know he gets weary. Yes, we know this is a hard job, my yes, Heavenly God. Father. Yes, God. When we pray, my Heavenly Father, yes, God. let us pray for his strength yes, God. in you, my Heavenly Father. Yes, God. Let us pray that he does not fall, yes, that he does not stumble. Yes, and if he does, let us be there to yes. catch him, my yes, Heavenly God. Father. Yes, God. My Heavenly Father, yes, if he needs somebody to talk to. Yes, God. If he needs some food to eat. Yes, God. If he needs somebody just to be there and care for him. Yes, God. Let us open our hearts, yes. our minds, yes. our souls yes. to help him. Yes, God. Because we know he cannot do this job all alone. Yes, God. That's why, that's why, my Heavenly Father, you have sent us to him and him to us. Yes. My Heavenly Father, yes, I pray God. this prayer 
When you walk through the storm, don't be afraid. Keep your head up high. Jesus is there for you no matter where you are. Whether you're in a sick bed, Jesus is there for you. Whether you're driving over the highways and the byways, Jesus is there for you. No matter, my Heavenly Father, we know that you will never leave us and nor will you forsake us. Pastor Ingram, we love you and God loves you more. To God be the glory. These things we ask for, we claim, and we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, sis. Thank you, sis. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Benediction. Benediction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, we will now get ready to go out in an attitude of prayer as we ask our acolyte to come. Thinking about the light that she carries out, the light of Christ, we also have a light. that we have just experienced. This is a little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. We can pick it up a little bit. This little light of mine. Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with each of us, henceforth, now, and forevermore. As we go in peace, let us sing Amen. Amen. Amen.